All right, see if you can. Okay, so down here they both are. These are the two boys. The smaller boy, he is, that's Hoss, he is the, the lilac covered in cream. And the other boy is the chocolate boy. He is a chocolate covered in cream, he carries blue. So the difference between these two dogs is, besides their slightly difference in size, and they're not gonna be big dogs. They, they, they weigh seven pounds, by the way, right now, at like 13 weeks. And I did chart that, and it, and it comes back with a crazy number of 14 pounds, which I don't believe that. I think that there's no way these are gonna be as small as 14 pounds, because that is really crazy small for a Frenchie. But these guys, <laughs> they're taking off. Yeah. These guys really are pretty small dogs. All right, we're gonna get them up with one of them. Come on, come over this way here, I guess. So, they're just busy running around. So they've been penned up the last few days because it's been so stinking cold outside. They just want to run around and have a good time. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. Let's see you. Come on. All right, who are you? You are the lilac. Okay, this is Hoss. So, it, on, a, on a lilac, you get these different colored eyes. They're kind of a, you know, kind of a slaty gray eye and more of a pinky purpley look to the nose versus, and, and of course they have to have a red eye glow, which this guy does. But the other guy has a red eye glow too because he's a chocolate. So this guy tests little d, little d, which means that he's both blue and chocolate. And let's see if we can stack them. So, right, so what do I think about him? Well. He's, he doesn't like it up here, so I wonder if he likes it better up there. He's not going to like it up here. He's not got his ears up or anything, so he'd, he'd normally have his ears up more like this. So he doesn't look good with his ears back. He's frightened. I'm going to let him run around a little bit. He's not liking that at all. So if you look at the difference in their sizes, this guy here, he's a little bigger. He's probably another half a pound bigger. But, and he, um, so what do I like? What do I like about this guy here? Um, I, I love his short tail, his little nubby little tail. A little bit more tail on that dog there. So the lilac dog, who's the lighter color, he's got a slightly more tail. Not a worrisome thing though, but I, I like to see a tail that really, not, not a tail that's completely gone because that can cause problems. But I like this guy's tail right here. He's got a little bit shorter tail, a little bit shorter tail. This guy, come over here, come on Hoss. He's not gonna behave with him, come on Hoss. So he's just gonna manhandle me. And Hoss here, a bit more tail. Bit more tail, but it's still, it's a still, it's a small Frenchy tail. Not, not an issue. Um, but I do like the smaller tail better. I mean, he's got a nice structure to him. He's short bodied. Um, now he's, now he's, what is he now? I think they're like 13 weeks. So, you know, he's kind of going through a little bit of this teenager stage where, you know, they kind of, their structure doesn't look quite as pretty as they did when they were puppies. Bit more long in the leg at the moment, but that will all fill out. But I don't think, that this guy is going to get to be much over 20 pounds, if I was guessing. Um, and and especially, especially the lilac, this lilac guy right here. Let's get this guy here. Okay, so this guy here, he is a chocolate, carried blue. The difference between these two dogs is really one gene, a blue gene. So if you look at his eyes, he's got this more of a brown eye to him. And he's... Oh, is that? Okay, let's go this way. Yeah, here we go. So this guy here, he's got more of a chocolate nose. He's still running around? Right? Yeah. Okay. And his eyes are this, also this chocolate color. And the pads of his feet, you may see a difference between the two of them. Look at these pads of his feet. Oh, he's not liking this. Can you see that foot there? More of a chocolatey color for the feet. So it's sometimes hard to tell. You've got to do a genetic test to know what's going on with lilac dogs. I know, I'm gonna, but I know. I've had all the DNA done on these guys, so I know exactly what they are. Okay, let's just grab him up. Okay, grab him. So now, let's have a look. So you can see the pad color, much more washed out. That's the effect of the little d, little d, which is called a dilution gene, which is actually blue. A lot more washed out. His nose is a bit more purpley, and then he's got way different eyes. All the lilac dogs I've got down there have all got this kind of a slate, kind of a gray, greeny eye. Now he's got his ears up pretty. Okay, so what do I think about him? He's got a nice flat face, like his face. A little bit of a rope on his nose, which is nice. Um, and let's have a look at his bite. If you'll show me his bite. And his bite, I can feel it. I'll see if I can show it to you. It feels like it's right dead on. Let's go over here. All right. Feel a real bright blue. Is it? Yeah. Well, his bite is right, on the, right slap on the money. 
So that's one of the things that you see, you know, French Bulldogs is their teeth are normally not very good. They're always better at a young age than they are at an older age. But I can tell you this, he doesn't have any underbite at all. And that's one of the things that you see on puppies from an early age, they tend to have an underbite. And then that can grow and you can see a lot more of an underbite and more muzzle. He's got a really nice muzzle, really good bite. <laughs> Looks like we're getting brighter and brighter. For some Are we? Is it, is it viewable? Okay. Right. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So he's got a nice flat face, got a great bite. He doesn't have crazy, ridiculously long ears, which you see in some Frenchies. Got too much ear. He doesn't have that. You know, he's a he's a nice little loggy. All right. Now let's look at the other guy. Oh yes, he has this guy here. So let's look at his bite. Typically, if one dog in the litter's got a good bite, they all do. They don't like me doing this. His, his bite is absolutely on too. Absolutely bang on the money. Absolutely bang on. Okay, so what do we think about him? Well, he's really, you know, guess what? Same litter, not that surprising. He's got a really nice head too. Nice flat face. Again, right size ears. Um, just, a, just a nice little boy. I would be proud to have either one of them, and either one of these guys would do great as both a companion. And I mean, look here, I mean, you know, but I mean, this is probably no surprise to you. You know, French Bulldogs, you, you sit down in a chair, I'm going to sit down in a chair over here, and you now he has been penned up for the last few days because it's so cold with his brothers and sisters. But get him on my lap, and he's just going to be a nice little sweetheart and be a nice little dog. And that's a Frenchie for you. So they can, they've got two speeds, and one of them is chill out and watch TV and have a good time. And the other one is tear around the place. It's the other guy. And now he's off and running. There's the other guy. You're a nice guy too, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Bounce never eat, didn't you? <laughs> the cat lives in here when it's cold. It's probably not, not too good, I think. So anyway, um, so which one would I choose? Well, I know which one I choose for stud dogs, this guy right here without a doubt, because of the fact that he's a lila. So you can do so much with this dog breeding wise. He'll produce blue dogs, he'll produce chocolate dogs, he'll produce um, cream dogs, he'll produce tan dogs.